Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to be looking at the National Park Playing Cards from Artica. This is a 2019 Kickstarter effort by a guy who goes by the name online Artica Visuals. He's a freelance graphic designer who does a lot of logo work for different clients. And he made a resolution in 2019 to go after kind of a longer scale or a larger scale uh, art project of some sort. Did some research to look for inspiration. Uh, found some playing card decks that really spoke to him, combined that with some memories of traveling to national parks, and this deck was the result. So let's take a look at it. I mean, it's a really interesting deck to me personally, because I mean, we as a family have been doing some traveling to different national parks. We actually spent our last family vacation traveling around West Texas and into New Mexico to go visit a few different national parks out there, Big Bend, Guadalupe Mountains, and Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico. Let's see how the deck turned out. So starting with the tuck case, the whole thing is this matte silver finish. It's actually a synthetic plastic material for the tuck case. Uh, very similar to what you might see on like the Jet Setters deck. Very similar feel to it. Uh, no embossing, but it does have lots of this silver foil. So most everything you see printed here is gonna be done in that silver foil. Really beautiful, love the smooth feel to the tuck case. But the front here, this is National Park Playing Cards, features the Arrowhead logo that's common across a bunch of different national parks. And then the center of it has a landscape scene there. And then it's bordered with this really simple, clean design. It's kind of lines and dot patterns. You have the uh, stylized pine trees kind of climbing up the sides. And then you have the four suits in the corner, as well as the Artica logo, very small here at the bottom. And like I said, all done in silver foil. Really nice look and feel to it. Uh, the sides both say, find your park. It's kind of the motto of uh, national parks there. And then the bottom has your ad copy, just the logo here for Wang Jing playing cards, the printer for this one. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, they've done work with a few decks you may have heard of, including a lot of them by elephant playing cards. Uh, but there's a logo for them. And then the four suits, again, in silver foil. Uh, the top, it says made by Artica with his logo. And then the back's gonna tell you a little bit about the card. So it's not the back design itself, but it does feature this landscape scene up at the top with the mountains and the trees with the sky above. Uh, very simple, minimalist line drawings. I like that style personally. And then at the bottom, talks about the featured national parks. So you get a clue here that all of the different cards are gonna feature different national parks. And the way the theme works, so each one of the suits is gonna represent a region of the US, and then you're gonna have the 13 parks in each one. So the hearts are gonna look at parks of the south, clubs are gonna be the east, the spades are gonna be the northwest, and the diamonds are gonna be the southwest. And then within each suit, it goes from the most to the least popular as you go from the ace down to the two. So the aces are gonna be the most popular park in each one of those regions. So there is the back of the tuck case, and we'll look more closely at some of those uh, as we get to the cards themselves. But if you go to the inner flaps, very simple, just a line printed there, kind of bordering out that flap. Nothing printed on the inner flaps here, and nothing printed on the interior of the tuck. So not bad, I like the uh, smooth feel to it. Uh, really like how that turned out. And you know, if you're looking at so many more complex cards, it's nice to have one that is really inspired by a much more simple aesthetic. But let's look at the cards starting with the back design. And here it is, kind of a continuation of that same line drawing design. So you've got very minimalist design, but you've got a sun radi radiating out in the center with birds surrounding it. And then on each side, kind of a mirrored pattern, you've got national parks with the mountains and tree above it. And then kind of what I'm guessing is kind of a leaf, a moon, and I guess this is the sun over here. Uh, but it's repeated on both sides to make a two-way design. And then you have a simple line border and then the white medium to thick poker border on the outside. So there it is, nice, simple design. If I have one small knit, it would be maybe leaving off the words there, but not a bad design at all. And like I said, after looking at a lot more complex and intricate designs, it's kind of a nice change of pace to have one that's this clean uh, in its inspiration. Turning over to the extra cards, you only get two extra cards in this one, and they're both gonna be the Jokers. 
Uh, so you get a black and a red Joker, just says Joker, Joker in the corners, and they both say designed by Artica 2019 underneath. And they feature a different animal on each one. So the red one over here is a design I really like, an antelope with those beautiful curly horns, and then the black features a bear, looking a little bit angry at you there. So there's your two Jokers. And then you get to the rest of the deck. And like I've said before, this is gonna feature all of the different parts. So each card is gonna feature a different part. Now the stack you get initially is gonna be in a slightly different order than you're used to. So rather than being grouped by suits, they're grouped by values. So you get the four aces at the top and the four kings. Uh, with this particular one, because it goes from the most popular to the least popular decks, it's kind of nice to be able to thumb through them in that order. Uh, so starting here with the ace of clubs, you can see it mentions you know the name of the park. So this is the Great Smoky Mountain. So you know this is the Eastern Decks uh, out in East Tennessee. So it tells you what state it's in. And then you have this uh, circle here, and in the inside, it has a very simple line drawing representing a scene from the park. I will say as we thumb through these, some of these are a lot more recognizable than others. This is kind of a fairly generic scene, but it is the Great Smoky Mountain, so you can see those rolling hills and mountains in the back, as well as trees in the foreground. Nice look to it. Uh, it's a filled-in design, so you've got black with kind of a white line drawing. Uh, very small pips and indices in the corner. Uh, honestly, may make it a little bit harder to read depending on what you're using this for, but there it is. As you go to the other one, so the red cars are gonna be featured the same thing, but they're all gonna be done in red instead of black. So now for the Southwest, you've got the Grand Canyon is the most uh, prominent one. The North, uh, the North or the South rather, uh, is the hearts. So we've got the Rocky Mountains there, beautiful scene of the Rocky Mountains. And then the spades for the Northwest are gonna feature on the Ace Yellowstone. So this is one, definitely one of the more recognizable images of the bunch with uh, Old Faithful spouting up there. So there's those, and then as you go through the Kings, you go to slightly less popular parks as you move along. There's Mount Zion over there, the Grand Tetons, which is kind of bordering Yellowstone on the Queen of Spades. And you go all the way down through, and so those are, I guess, your courts. Now there is a slightly uh, slight difference as you get to the number cards, and you'll see here now, the number cards, the design is not filled in anymore. So in your court cards and your aces, it's gonna be a filled in design, but these are gonna be white with just sort of a black line drawing. So as we start here with the tennis page, you've got Mount Rainier in Western Washington, and you can see that white, uh, white background with a black line drawing. And that continues through all of the other ones. So there's Shenandoah Valley, the red. So it's gonna look a little bit light uh, with that with that red line drawing on white there for Death Valley. And we'll go really quickly through some of these. Maybe you'll spot a park that you're a big fan of through here uh, as we go. Sequoia is out of Southern California. That's one I really wanna go visit. And you know, Mammoth Cave, uh, that's one we're actually gonna be going to uh, in the near future before the end of this year, we'll be traveling to that one. Carlsbad Caverns, mentioned we went there on our vacation. And then we'll get into the less popular parks, or at least less populated parks. You'll see a lot of them from Alaska out here. People don't make their way all the way up to Alaska quite as much. It's Glacier Bay in Alaska. Redwoods out of Northern California, another one I really, really want to go visit. Big Bend, just went there. And then down to your twos, the quote, least popular parks, but Wrangell, St. Elias, Dry Tortugas, Chanel Islands, and Guadalupe Mountains from Western Texas. So there are those. As far as handling, uh, they actually handle quite well. It's kind of got that air cushion finish on it. Uh, the fans are going to be pretty smooth, not perfectly smooth, not the smoothest deck in the world, but pretty good handling on it. Um, all that's going to work quite nicely. It's a little bit of a stiffer feel, I will say, to the cards, but not bad. They handle pretty well, cuts, fans, all that. No really significant complaints on it. Uh, what do you think of the cards? Uh, it is a fun deck for me personally. You know, if you're somebody who travels to national parks, uh, this is a really fun deck to have flipping through the cards and kind of serving up, you know, memories of the different parks. I will say those smaller indices in the corner and the fact that the court cards are not super highly distinguished, it's really just the color that's, you know, center circle there, makes this maybe a little less useful for gameplay. You know, some of them are going to be a little bit harder to read when you have them in your hands. 
Um, you know, it'd be perfectly suitable for magic or cardistry, but I don't think it's necessarily particularly designed for either one of those. Um, I think it's a fun deck to have, fun one to thumb through. You know, if you can put up with a couple of the annoyances, I think it's a decent deck to, you know, play cards with. But it's a good conversation piece. I mean, I've thumbed through this more than once and kind of flipped through the cards and just, you know, relived some of the ones that I've traveled to. So, interesting deck. Hope you enjoyed. That is the National Parks Playing Cards. These are still available if you didn't jump in on the Kickstarter. So, I'll put a link to where you can purchase these down in the comments. Comes in a couple of different colors. This is the light version of the deck. There's a second, which is the dark version of the deck. Very similar, but all the faces are going to be dark and there'll be a little bit of a different color scheme. So, that is that. Uh, let me know if there's other decks that you want to see. Subscribe for more deck reviews, unboxings, and things like that. And I will see you for the next one.